be true. It was early July. But I'm starting to believe that we're not seeing people show up. And I did not get an email response today about who was going to be here and what the topic was. And I likely would believe it's because we're not kissing their asses over there when it comes to this refugee resettlement issue. Now, I have, I have not condemned them on this matter. I have said I don't believe there was any conspiracy going on. Uh, but I think that probably what happens a lot in small towns is you've got the political class that believes that the media is there to promote their causes and that we should just be a, an extension of what they believe civic duty is, what they believe civic duty is. And I'm starting to think that they feel, well, we'll punish him by not showing up. Yeah, so we could sit here and say, well, over at the New City Hall, we poured some concrete and ran a couple of pipes, and <laughs> very, very pretty to look at, and it's going to be very, very pretty when it's all done. And won't it be great? A lot of wonderful things being done in this city. And overall, I think that this council does a wonderful job. But they've really botched the public reaction on this matter when it comes to the public reaction to uh, to a recent event here in June of uh, June of this year. And while they may not necessarily be getting treated fairly by some of those angry people, you've got to learn to take the heat. That's when you're in politics. You, it's not all going to be peaches and cream. And I think we're dealing with a great deal of that on the radio. They've just decided they're going to shut out people who are not going to be how shall we put it, extensions of their political thinking. 926, Bill Colley with you. Oh, gosh, it just breaks my heart. 926, Bill Colley with you on Top Story on News Radio 1310, KLIX and News 1310.com. i got to be honest with you. A lot of these local folks in politics and government, they make me cringe because I think when they come in here and they start talking or whatever topic it is that people are changing the channels. I can almost hear those dials being flipped uh, in record numbers all at once. It's a great big, as Ross, Ross Perot would have said to paraphrase him, a great big clicking sound. By the way, speaking of this very issue, there are some events coming up in August. And if you've got concerns about it, and I'm not necessarily endorsing any of this, but I am curious and I would like to go see these events because I think curious people would do that, including people in government, unless, of course, you'd like to continue to bury your head in the sand and call all of your opponents bigots. Pamela Geller is scheduled to come to Twin Falls. If you don't know who she is, remember the Draw Muhammad contest in Dallas where a couple of your jihadist jehus showed up and decided they were going to shoot it up, but instead the police shot them dead? Well, she was behind that. She is coming here, and she has been a bulldog on these issues ever since 9-11. That was, she was a columnist for many, many years at a New York newspaper, and after 9-11... She decided, no more. This is a threat. This is an existential threat to our culture and our country. And she has been a bulldog fighting, uh, fighting Islam ever since then. She is scheduled to be in Twin Falls on August 3rd. Now, this is all tentative. Some of these times and dates may change. Tentatively, she is going to be leading a rally at the courthouse downtown on Shoshone Street from noon until 2 on August 3rd. And then she is doing two evening events. One, they are inviting local politicians to come to, and you know they won't because the well, newspaper will make fun of me if I go there, and if the newspaper makes fun of me, I won't get reelected because everybody reads the newspaper after all. Yep, yeah, right. <clears throat> so she's doing two events that night. We'll have more details as this gets fleshed out in the next few days. One will be for the political class. If they are so inclined to try and hear all views, they would go. I am sure most of them won't. And then she is doing a second event that very same evening from 6 until 8 o'clock. We'll have more details on location and the like as all this gets firmed up in the next couple of weeks. A public event. And she will share with you her findings over the years and why she has these fears and what you should know as well. And if you're giving your community away to these people, you might want to you might want to have a little bit more detail about all of this and what could potentially go wrong. Also, Ann Corcoran is scheduled to come to town. Ann Corcoran has been a leader in this movement now for quite some time. Some of you may be familiar with some of her videos that you'll see online. She's behind the organization Refugee Watch. She's from Minnesota. She got interested when this started happening in her small town, when they started dumping refugees there by the hundreds. And the videos that she does are incredible. Uh, you can go to YouTube and search Ann Corcoran. You will find those. And then thirdly, Brigitte Gabriel, who's been on my program before, she was up in the Caldwell area last year 
She's coming to Twin Falls for a program on August 4th, and she will likely be joining us on air before that. In fact, we may have an opportunity to get all of these people in the studio. Uh, if nothing else, even if you don't agree with them, they are definitely newsmakers. And this is a hot topic, one that isn't going away in this community. So what I'd like to do is just you know tell you right now, I'll have more details in the next couple of weeks, the whys, the wheres, the whens on all of this. We have to be a little bit discreet about where they're going to be and sometimes the times on some of these some of these events simply because if you've got Muslims like they did in Dallas who traveled a thousand miles to try and kill Pamela Geller, then you can understand why they're a little bit antsy about all of this. And if people are trying to kill you just because they don't like what you're saying, then perhaps what you're saying is worthwhile and people should be listening, even if you don't agree. Bill Colley with you this morning on Top Story. We've got more coming up in just a few minutes on News Radio 1310 KLIX, News Radio 1310.com. Bill Nye, the science guy, attacking Christians. Who knew? That's coming up.